In this video, I'm going to go over what is an isotonic versus hypotonic and hypertonic solutions. I'm also going to categorize which IV maintenance fluids belong with the isotonic, hypotonic, and hypertonic solutions to help you better understand why your patients are, for example, receiving LR known as lactated ringers versus half normal saline. Be sure to access the free tip sheet to help you follow along with the link in description. My name is Christina, nurse practitioner. Let's get started. IV fluids are administered based on the patient's needs, beginning with isotonic solutions. This consists of your normal saline, also known as 0.9% NS, and LR, which is also known as lactated ringers, and D5W, which is originally isotonic prior to infusion, then immediately the dextrose is absorbed and converts to hypotonic solution. However, in the ideal setting, isotonic is for your perfect cell, meaning within the cell you have your intracellular fluid and outside of the cell you have your extracellular fluid both inside and outside of the cell has an equal distribution everything was evenly dispersed and there is like no chaos these fluids can be used in the setting of low sodium levels GI loss such as diarrhea emesis dehydration and for blood transfusions okay moving on to hypotonic fluids that is most commonly used in an inpatient setting this includes your half NS at D5W as just mentioned the cell Cells contain solute and solvent and are not equally dispersed. When this occurs, osmosis occurs, where the fluid will shift based on the need. In this circumstance, the fluid will shift from a low concentration of solute that is low on the extracellular side, so outside, to a high concentration of solute that is intracellular, which is inside within the cell. When this occurs, it causes the cells to burst, causing lysis, which can result in hypovolemia, as these IV fluids should be administered slowly with caution to avoid interstitial edema. Last on the list, we have hypertonic solutions that consist of D5LR, also D5 half NS, which are the most commonly used in an inpatient setting. This also includes your 3% normal saline that is given in a critical care unit. In this setting of hypertonic solutions, there is too much solution on the extracellular outside of the cell and too little solution within the cell, which is intracellular. So with osmosis, the cells within intracellular move to a high concentration that is outside the cell. So the cell is empty and it shrivels up. This can occur in the setting of burns and severe dehydration. With caution, you wanna monitor a patient for pulmonary edema because it can cause fluid overload. Again, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for upcoming notifications. Take care.